Well, I think uh, what's great about Creative li Liaisons is not only the fact that you interact with uh, the great leaders and thinkers of our industry, but the fact that you, that you interact with a lot of people from, and creatives from all over the world who share the same anxieties and the same uh, frustrations as you do, and also the same will to develop great work. So I think uh, uh, though we are very similar, we, we are kind of different too because we live and breathe in different cultures. So I guess in this intersection between, between our differences and our similarities that I found the most interesting thing. Yeah, yeah. it's a small group. So we can really be in touch with the, the, the different pe persons, different cultures uh, and share our experience, uh, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for me, uh, it was, uh, there were a lot of things we, we saw that were, were inspiring, but the one that caught my attention was uh, from Pam, the owner of Design Army. And she was saying about uh, how you can apply design thinking to your life. And she was saying that in a very profound and philosophical way that I think it's all about simplifying your goals and trying to perceive your objectives in a very straight way. And I, I think that was hugely inspiring. Yeah, I agree. I like when, when, when she talks about uh, you, you have to choose your clients insta uh, instead of be choosing of them. Uh, it, I, I like when she talks of, uh, about you open your own uh, uh, your own agents and uh, it's, it's this. Oh, it was a uh, it was a very very a huge learning experience because you see from the inside how the juries work, and uh, just to see you know that bunch of CCOs and uh, uh, influential creative directors working and saying what are the do's and don'ts and uh, discussing and fighting in a professional way of course, and sometimes uh, having an overall consensus. Uh, you can s kind of uh, learn a lot from that and shape your own way of, uh, of work by just by seeing those guys discussing what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, yeah. I think we, we learn a bit, just a bit of uh, them critters, but uh, I think we first we, we learn uh, how, how difficult is judge uh, a piece of work. I think it's, uh, oh, this is better, oh, no, 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 this is better. It's yeah, yeah, it's not uh, I like it or I don't like it. It's, it's kind of, they discuss the, in the very detail all the work that they see. It's, it's just uh, every, every project they see, it's discussed in detail. And that's, that's awesome. I think when you share different point of, points of view with people and people from different cultures, you can gather a lot from for your own points of view when you are doing your work. Because when we are seeing that uh, out of the box and you are seeing that from you know, uh, different lenses, uh, I guess you can develop your own work in a different way, which is always a great thing for a creative process. Yeah. I think uh, we, we can come back home uh, more hopeful about advertising, but uh, because uh, uh, we, we learn a lot here and uh, we, we can go back and try to, to do the, the, the jobs uh, with our own way, you see. Uh, I think it's, it's more hopeful.